So the one thing I was worried about this is that I'm literally like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, and is this going to be too short for me because I wanted to be close to baby, but I'm thinking, we'll see. We're going to find out here in a second. We are very pregnant. <laughs> stroller as well, so that's going to... <laughs> so that's gonna be something I'm gonna do in the future. I literally cannot tell you how many times it said it had restocked and then sold out. So I had. Hi guys, what's up? And welcome back to another video with me. I have my production crew with me today. I have Stella and I have Brody down here on the camera so if anything is just like out of focus blame him um so that's that part i am back with a video today with the car seat stroller that i decided to go with which is the duna and i am currently like i want to say 35 weeks pregnant 35 weeks pregnant i think i'm 35 weeks pregnant and Belly is growing very big. We are very pregnant, <laughs> super pregnant. And Stella says she's gonna go ahead and try out the stroller before we get to the video because I'm taking too long. But yeah, so belly is growing super big. I have yet to reveal the gender to you guys, but I will do. But I will be doing that very soon. I'm just not sure how I'm gonna do it because it's just like the one thing I've kept. Like hidden from everybody so I'm like I gotta do this in a special way <laughs> hey Brody when I went in for my like 32 33 week checkup baby's weighing about 4.15 ounces pounds 4 pounds and 15 ounces almost 5 pounds and after that babies grow about like a half a pound a week so pray for me that I don't have a baby that's like overly like large but I'm hoping for like maybe at least just eight pounds would be great. No, no more than that. And now Brody is just doing his own thing. Yeah. Also, if you guys have any tips about how to deal with a dog and an infant, I am nervous about that. So if you have any tips, please leave them down below because it's just, it's going to be an adventure because he's not going to be the only baby anymore. I know Stella, he has Stella too, but he's not going to be the only baby. So. He's not excited about that. I heard so many good things about the Duna car seat stroller. And that was like the number one thing I really, really wanted. And so I was gifted this from my dad. Thank you, dad, for that. And um, like, I'm so, so excited to actually unbox it because I have just literally had it in this box. Whew, gotta catch a breath. Being pregnant really makes you out of breath. It's like more work than cardio, I swear. But <laughs> I have been keeping this in this box for like the past month now. And so I'm finally going to unbox it. And you guys are going to be unboxing it with me. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. It literally took me so long to get my hands on this. Like, I had to like keep my notifications on on the Duna website itself. They also sell them at Target. And that's where I found mine at Target. I literally... Cannot tell you how many times it said it had restocked and then sold out. So I had to have my card information, my address, everything emptied out of your cart because I'm like one of those people that leaves like a million things in your cart. So it's like a thousand dollars worth of junk in your cart and then this. And so I had to have to delete everything out. So if you want to be ready for that, because I'm not sure if they're even like on the I'm not sure if they are in stock right now, but how I got mine was turning on my notifications for on the Duna website, Target website, and then having the empty cart so you can get it as soon as it's available because that's what I had to do. And I'm not gonna lie, it made me pretty mad when it would sell out like the second that I was like getting everything done. When I finally was able to get it, it was like the best moment of my life and it took like not that long to get here. So yeah, I am going to unbox this with you guys now and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. My animals are going crazy right now. These two are just like crazy wild. Yeah, pray for me. I don't know how I'm gonna do this with an infant. By the way, I chose this stroller because my lifestyle and I live in LA 
and the baby's got the hiccups right now. <laughs> I chose this stroller because of my lifestyle and I knew that I would be probably wanting a stroller that can, or a car seat that can convert into a stroller versus trying to stick one of those infant car seats into one of those like contraptions of a stroller that like is interchangeable and convertible. That just was so hard. We, my partner and I went to Target to try to like test out different strollers and it was literally horrible trying to get them clipped into the next like clip because some of them have like the bassinet, the infant car seat, and then it comes with like the other one for like the convertible one for basically like a toddler. And that was just like really complicated for us. So I'm just not sure if you're the ones at Target were just like not for us. But I just did not have an easy experience trying to make maneuver through that. And that's like the last thing we need right, whenever we're like dealing with a baby is to try to like transfer them all over. So my best bet was going with this particular car seat stroller. So it'd be easy to just like pop it down and go and then put it back in your car and then like just maneuver that way, which is having to like go to the back of the car and do all that because that's we're living in LA and that's just like doesn't seem like the easiest thing to do or the safest thing to do because yeah Stella is literally unboxing this for us guys I'm just gonna let her take over this video <laughs> but yeah so I want to do want to get a bassinet that can convert into a toddler stroller as well so that's gonna <laughs> so that's gonna be something I'm gonna do in the future but I am on a budget so this is even though this is like $550 it's like $549 this is still like the better option for me versus getting a whole contraption and try to deal with that while I'm probably exhausted, baby's crying. Just thinking about all that makes me just want this one. So let's get unboxing and let's see what color I got. Here we go. And not every Duna has this, but mine comes with a cat. <laughs> Come here. My first infant. Oh, how cute. You're so cute. But anyways. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. I'm super pregnant, so let's see how easy it is to do. Okay, it's not that heavy. And Brody's like, what is this? And then it's actually not that heavy, thankfully you also have to think about your baby being inside of it and oh my gosh I'm obsessed with this color I think I went with the hunter green is the one I went with it's so pretty I'm wondering how should I do this let's see and I also chose this one because you can take it on an airplane and like literally have the baby sitting next to you in this so it seemed pretty it seemed pretty safe because my family doesn't live here and so I feel like we will be flying a lot to go see them and so this is something I could definitely take with us on the plane and then also like going to live somewhere else you don't have a stroller and car seat so this would be the perfect thing to take with us and so we already know we have this with us versus having to worry about that when we land or getting a backup one okay this sucks Ow. Okay, the tape on this is strong, but I'm also pretty weak right now, so I'm excited. I haven't got to touch this thing yet, so I'm like really excited. And I have to be careful because I have so much dog hair from Brody that it's kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, so here we are. And we have, oh my gosh, oh, I thought it doesn't match my outfit, but it's so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm actually really impressed with the fabric too. Everything's super soft and it already comes with these infant, ooh, see, it already comes with the infant pads in it. So you can definitely put an infant in it right away. So they're safe and then you can take them out once they're big enough. And there's already Brody hair all over this so that's great this is what it looks like straight out of the box 
it is super freaking adorable like i said here is the infant padding that it already has and it has little green straps on it it's so cute it's so cute they did not sponsor this video we bought this so um yeah just fyi this is just me showing you guys this <laughs> i'm gonna see if i can pop it down okay i figured it out Okay, that was not the smoothest transition. I'm gonna have to do that again. <laughs> so the one thing I was worried about this is that I'm literally like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, and is this gonna be too short for me because I wanted to be close to baby? But I'm thinking, we'll see. We're gonna find out here in a second. I'm out of breath. <laughs> so if you're tall like me, or if your husband's tall, partner's tall, we're gonna find out together whether or not this is gonna be too short or small for someone that's a little bit taller than the average woman. So, let's try this whole like moving it down thing again because I had the worst, that was the worst transition I've ever seen in my life. How do I do this? Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to be careful, not gonna lie. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Is these things stuck? Oh. There we go. That's why. One of the wheels was on lock. So I figured it out. We're good. <laughs> but. There we go. Yeah. In order to transition, you just pull this back lever. Okay. I'm going to have to get better at that because there's no way that's happening with the infant. That's probably, okay, the best way to put it up and then bring it down is you pull the same lever in the back, which is this like red and gray lever. This is something I'm really going to have to get better at. <laughs> okay, there we go. And, okay, I feel better about that because I'm, I'm about to be jerking this baby around if I do not get this figured out. But that felt better. Oh, everything on this is super soft. Like, so, so soft. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. It's so cute. Okay. And, oh my gosh, it's adorable. And it does come with a vehicle protector, seat protector, and I think it's in green. So it matches, how cute. It's pretty easy to maneuver so far. You just need a little bit of practice. Maybe not. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> First of all, how do I do this? Okay, guys, this is not as easy as it looks. We're going to try it this way. That is kind of the one thing I do kind of think that's annoying. And the one thing it, it's annoying is that it does get stuck on this cover. I've seen this in other people's videos, and I was hoping I wouldn't see it in mine. But seeing it, why would it go up? I might have to read this. Okay. I finally figured it out, guys. You have to have it all the way forward in order to make this thing move up. And now it's locked in. It's actually a pretty good height for me. So I'm not mad. I do not feel like it's too short. And that is the little visor that goes over it. How cute. It's so cute. The wheels are really good. It moves easily. Really light. It does move really easily. Perfect. Okay, that was what I was worried about. And then if you want to move this back, you press these little gray notches on either side. Does it not want you to move it backwards that way? Okay. So, from my experience, maybe I'm doing this wrong, but it looks like you can only have it extended when it's this way. And then other than that, you have to move it back and then press these gray things in order to get it back to that. Which doesn't make sense to me. I feel like it should be both ways. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. If I'm doing this wrong, let me know in the comments. But... Just like that. 
and then popped it up. And there it is. And that's what it looks like. And you have your doona. It does move around easily, so that's awesome. That makes me happy. I do wish that you could extend it while it's up like this. It doesn't seem like that's an option. It seems like this is the only way to do it because it like literally is locked whenever I do that. But like I said, if I'm doing it wrong, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> like, let's learn this together. It does have locks on either wheel, so you can lock it down. Oh wait, one's green, one's go. Okay, so there's a red button and a green button. So you, all you have to do is press the green button and then it like literally maneuvers. So that's pretty easy. You don't have to lock both wheels. And it also comes with the base, which is for your car. Let's see. You can grab it out as well. Oh, it's heavy. So it does come with the latch base. If you want to buy a multiple latch bases, so if you have more than one car, I would totally recommend doing that. So if you have one in dad's car, one in mom's car, then you can just literally pop it in there and you're good to go. Baby's all safe. Then also they did recommend that you keep this facing this way whenever you put them into the car because apparently this actually helps against impact. So that's a little tip. And also, you can actually put this in the car without a latch base. There's like a whole way to do it. You put it through here and here. That will be for another video if I do that. Whoa, guys. We are super pregnant. That's insane. That's insane. Oh, my gosh. Like, that's so crazy to me. That's crazy. That's crazy. You guys, wow. Look how pregnant I am. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be in this soon. The baby's going to be in that. That's so crazy. Literally like four weeks away from my due date. This is crazy. <laughs> Slightly terrified because I still have to move my entire apartment. And we have to find this house. We found a house waiting for everything to go through. And then from there, I can nest and settle. I have so much to do, so much to get done, still have to get a crib, still have to get a lot of stuff. So I'm just thankful we got the one thing we need to bring him home in, which is a car seat. So yeah, that's my life. This stress is very, is a lot. A lot of stress, a lot to do. I need to be relaxing more. So I'm just going to be breathing super deep for you the next few weeks trying to make sure that baby stays calm and baby's kicking right now so cute because i still have to like i said move so i have to completely un like pack unpack all that stuff so i still have all that to do before i can put this in the car so let's hope i get all this done i need lots of prayers lots and lots of prayers lots of good energy if you want to help support me buy my workout programs. I am definitely going to be right on my full body challenge as soon as I get done with baby. As long as I can, when I get to go to work out again, I'm going to be doing my full body challenge and I cannot wait to get started on that again. I have had the most difficult pregnancy, not the most difficult. I've had a rough pregnancy. It has been like a very just nauseous, nauseating for me, like this whole time, except for like literally until a month like two three or not month two three until the second third more towards the third trimester that i start feeling like myself again so that's that and um yeah i'm super excited to see how baby is in this car seat i will let you guys know in an updated video whether or not i like it or not and also because my baby might be on the bigger side <laughs> we're gonna see how long baby lasts in this I'm hoping that it lasts at least a year. I've seen the babies last at least a year up into this, in this car seat. So let's hope mine lasts a year too because that would be amazing. If not, I do plan on having more babies like close to baby's age. So we thought this would be something smart that we could get and use over and over and over again. So I'm not mad about this purchase. I think it is a great thing to get but like I said I'm gonna give you guys an updated thing 
it does move really easily and that's one thing with other car seats that I they were really annoying to move around, move around figure out I didn't read any instructions I just literally went with it and so you guys saw this all raw you saw me struggle with it a little bit so um, I just need practice on the putting it down pulling it up especially because I don't want to be jerking baby around and yeah that's that <laughs> And also, I'm going to be doing more videos. I'm going to be doing a pregnancy must-haves video here shortly, as well as what I what happened during the first, second, and third trimester, and what helped me with nausea and all of that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to see more videos like that, you want to see me and my family growing, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. And, um, yeah, you guys can also shop any of my workout programs at www.juliannafleming.com. And then also I have a rainbow booty bands that are so perfect for any of your home fitness or gym fitness needs. They're so great because it's like a medium heavy resistance. So you're getting a great challenge. And yeah, that's that. Tap the links in my bios for all of that. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Did I show you the latch base? I showed you the latch base. It's heavy, I don't wanna pull it out again. <sighs> but yeah, baby's growing, baby's healthy, Stella's playing in the plastic. I'm just super excited to see my baby in this because it's gonna be so cute.